How long is it going to take you to wash one common car? Hurry up! Forever? Ah, you have four other cars to wash. Space it up. Okay, so yeah. So what are we saying now about the the car? So what's the last price you are taking? Um, seven point five million. Come on, man, it's on the high side. What about five point five? No, look, because of the relationship between you and I, I'll give it to you six point five million. Six point five. Yeah. Nina, what do you want to do? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need to tell this about something. Nina, Nina whatever you want to do now could be the wrong thing. Please, let's go. What? Where? You know what? Just wait for me right there. Don't move. I'm on my way, all right? My friend, what's... Okay, I'm sorry. Hope that's I'm sorry, there's an emergency and emergency? I have to go. Yes, please. Um, you'll wait for me in my office. Okay. Uh, um, Emmanuel! Okay, um, bring the key of... This car, quickly, there's an emergency. Hurry up! Hurry up, Emmanuel! Yes, ma'am. Nina, I want to tell you! Stop, stop! Oh my goodness! You mean she did this to you? Where is she? <laughs> you mean she had the audacity to fight you in public? Don't worry, sweetheart. I will handle her my way, huh? Um, now. Oh my goodness! I'm really, really sorry. Huh? <laughs> now, sorry. Right. Let me drive you home. Let me drive you. She took away my car key and all the things that I bought. She took away the car key. Don't worry, I'll come pick the car with the spare key. Shall we? Let's go home. <laughs> don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Please, don't. How don't even tell you? me that. How could you do a thing like that to her? Despite all my effort to stop you, how could you? You don't say a word to me because you don't know what that woman has cost me and my family. You do not know the pain she has cost me and my family. Now, don't. Okay, now tell me how what you just did now has stopped the pain she cost you and your family. Tell me, go ahead, explain. Get out of my car. Get out. Get out. Don't you dare judge me. Don't you judge me. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is to grow up without the love of a father? That woman broke my family. She broke my family. How am I supposed to, 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 to forgive her? Do you know what it is to grow up without the love of a father? Do you know? I really do not know why nobody seems to like Steve. He's the man I love. <laughs> My dear, I don't have a problem with Steve or any other man. My own is that men over the world are just snakes. And I have vowed never to allow myself or my heart or give it to any one of them anymore. You know, I know men could be dangerous. Of course, I've had my own tough time with them, but I still believe in love. No man will give you his heart wholly and fully the way you as a woman gives to him. I seriously disagree with that sentiment. Girl, you are treading on a dangerous path. Babe, I would rather tread on a dangerous path than give my heart, my love to all those stupid things they call men. Look at me. How many men have I given my heart to? And what did they do? They bruised it, crushed it in turn. Look at my mother. That gave her life, her love, gave everything to my stupid father that left her for another woman. So you don't want to go that route of telling me about men, their lies and what they do because I have been there, I have experienced it. 
Nina, I understand how you feel, okay? But do not harden your heart against love. No, 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 no. Trust me, <laughs> I am very fine without it. I am perfectly fine. No, don't talk like that. You don't get it, do you? Babe, I gave men my heart. I gave them my love. I gave them my life. What did I get? They bruised it, all of them. Hello, Mr. Bright. No, I am coming today to pick up my money. Yes. It's been a while, please. Thank you. Mommy? <laughs> How do I look, Mommy? Ravishing. You didn't tell me you were going out today. Oh, I didn't prepare to go out, but if he called like 30 minutes ago, she wants us to go somewhere and have a lunch. Thank God. Thought you were going out on a date with a man. Really? <laughs> I'd rather go out with a hungry anaconda. <laughs> I'm glad you agree with me on that. Men? Mm -mm. No dealing with them. Well, except you're ready to milk yourself in order to satisfy them. <sighs> Mom, with the ugly and bitter experiences I've had with men, I cannot allow myself all for their evil machination anymore. Good. That's the only way you can protect yourself. Don't ever forget that. All right, Mommy, let me hurry up. If he's already calling before she gets worried. Okay, here we go. Oh, by the way, please, I'll be going to meet some of my customers. Payment oh, the ones for the goods you... Oh, all right, darling. You have a lot of day. You too, baby. I, I invited Nina to join us for lunch today. You what? Ah, uh, baby, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I know I should have told you first. I'm sorry. Look, she's the last person I want to see. She does not even like me. No, no, not like she doesn't like you. It's just that Nina. She has been through so many heartbreaks and because of that she developed this, this general hatred for men. That's just the problem, not that she doesn't like you. Honestly, that is not my headache. That's supposed to be her problem. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand that I'm trying to help a friend here. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been through heartbreaks myself and before God sent you to me. And I want to use the strength of our love to make Nina understand that true love still exists. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I'm only doing this for you to prove to you that I really do love you. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this for her at all because I honestly would like to spend time with you alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm happy. <laughs> and you feel so good. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Babe, hold on, let me get the door for you. Hmm. You know, you're such a gentleman and you are spoiling me with that. <laughs> well, your beauty makes it easy for me to be a gentleman. So, do you want me to carry you inside? Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you actually want to carry me inside in front of all these people here. Honestly, in my world, you're the only person that exists. Any other person is non-existent. <laughs> you know, it's so sweet to hear those words from you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, my love. I'll work in myself this time, okay? But all the same, I'll still get the door for you. Why didn't you tell me it's we? It was not stated in your invitation that we are going to we are going to have lunch together. She didn't tell me that you were going to be here as well, Mrs. Know It All. I only came here because of her. Fine, you know what? I think I hey, 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 hey! Listen, both of you. I won't have both of you spoil my afternoon. Okay, Nina. I think I have a right to know who is coming to have me. It, it's a date. Why didn't you tell me now? Am I not supposed to know? Nina, Nina. Look, look, babe. 
What, what's the meaning of all this now? What is it? Look, babe, I don't like it all. You know what? You guys just go. I won't go with you. What is the meaning of this now? What are you doing? You know how I am with him. And yet you, you, you brought him. You didn't even tell me. Okay, what? fine. Just let's go. I would rather go get a cab and go alone. Why didn't you tell me? What, what, what is all this one now? What is it? Nina. Do I have to come and watch you guys do your lovey dovey in front of me? You know what? Let me go. Because I don't even have the strength for all this. Enjoy yourself. Nina. Mommy. Mommy, mommy you're crying. Mommy, what's wrong now? I saw him today. Who? Agatha, what do you want here? Collins. How sweet life has become for you, Collins. What do you want here, Agatha? It's a pity. How money, a new wife, wealth can make you forget the past, your family. But remember that you and I labored for all that you are enjoying today. I don't understand what you are talking about. You better get a grip on yourself, woman. <laughs> really? You should be ashamed of yourself. Agatha, what do you want from me? We are divorced, remember? Yes. The divorce that you wanted. You wanted the freedom to marry your, your little wife. And you got it. You got it because you had the money and I had nothing. Oh, is it money you want? Then tell me. Because I'm ready to give you any amount of money to save me from all the trouble, harassment and embarrassment I am receiving from you and your indoctrinated daughter. Remember, everything you own belongs to you and I. And someday, I will come for my portion. Agatha, you know what your problem is? And the reason I divorced you? Listen, you are one woman who can never stand on her own. Because you don't have a mind of your own. All you do is to dwell on other people's mindset and opinion, no matter how stupid they are. And you see where that has gotten you? A real woman would have moved on in life. But here you are. All you want is to blame me for the failure that you have become. I will be back. I promise you, I will be back. And I will take what is mine. Mommy, I thought we had an agreement that we will never cry over him again. I, just, I can't help it. The tears just won't stop coming after I saw him. It's okay. All right, let's go to the room. Why would he be the one that is happy? Eh? And, and that little girl that he married, she's just been busy enjoying the fruits of my labor. Mommy, it's all right. Look, let's go to the room and talk. No, about no, no. It's not okay, baby. It's not okay. You know, he told me that he loved me. He, he told me he loved me. I, I sacrificed everything for him. I had opportunities to, to, to improve my life, but I gave everything up for him. That bastard. I, I, I could kill him. I, I could strangle him with my bare hands. I, I, I hate him. I, I just hate him. I don't even know why I agreed to come back to this, this city of, of agony. I, I know why, Mom. We had to come to face our fears and problems. Get it done and over with. It's so well, I guess at this point I'll just say goodnight. You're still mad at me, right? And I'm not. I'm just um, very tired. You're lying and you know it. You're mad at me because of Nina. Of course you're right. The girl just ruined our date for us. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, okay? I know it's all my fault. It's okay. So, am I forgiven? You're my queen. And I love you so much. It makes it too easy for me to, to forgive you, even when I don't want to. Mm. And I love you more. Oh. <laughs> so, I'll come over to your place tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening... Uh, um, what, you, won't you be around? No, I'm going to represent my company. I, I'm going to be in about a tomorrow at a conference. Oh, 
Yeah. But I will call you when I get back, though. Mm. And I'm looking forward to spending tomorrow night at your place. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be back before you know it. And once I get back, you'll be the first person to know. I'll call you and let you know. All right. Mm. Okay. <laughs> What is wrong with you people? What, what, what kind of man? How can a woman give you a heart and you shattered it? Destroyed it and then left her and ran away with a small girl. Is that all? Is that why you're invading my privacy, spoiling for a fight? When, when millions of, of people your age and sanity are out there struggling to, to, to find what to eat. Father, I am in a very foul mood. I am. So don't even patronize me. <laughs> you know, I am very sorry for you. I am really sorry for you because you are turning out to be exactly like your mother. You, you're becoming a willing tool in her hands. And what's the meaning of that? Why not go and ask your mother the truth about why I left her? Maybe that will save you from allowing yourself to, to, to be misled to a tragic end. I don't need anybody to tell me what you have done to her. I know it. I don't even need her to tell me. I know how you smashed her heart, how you battered it. I know everything you did to her. How you made her just so wicked. In fact, I wish God would just send all of you into the hellfire so that you can burn her rotten because that's where you all belong. Nina, whatever you call it, meeting, invasion or whatever, is over. So why not walk out with dignity? I give you two minutes. I am you. not going anywhere. I am not until you tell me how and when you intend to make my mother a happy woman again? Nina, you are risking being thrown out by the security man. Security man! Sir! Security! Sir! If you touch me, if you, if you near me, I'm in my father's. If you, Please. If you, I will break your head. If Please you touch me, this I will break your out. head. Escort her out. Uh, if, eh, I came here, did you carry me here? If she resists, bundle her out. Why don't you bundle me out? Um, I what are you I waiting for? Give me slap! Let's go now. You think you, you, I'll give you hot sauce. I'll give it to you hot sauce. What kind of man is that? Is that how that? No, no, no. So you were saying something upstairs? Oh, yes. Um, but it's not something that I want to say much about. Mm. I'd rather show you. Mm, really? You come here, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey baby, how are you? I'm fine, I'm okay. And you? I'm okay. I just had a really stressful day at the office and everything, but I'll, I'll survive. Mm. Are you still at Everdon? Oh, yes, I am. But I'll be back by tomorrow, though. Okay, that would be fine. Please just come back because I'm missing you terribly here. <laughs> so I hope when you come over, we have the whole of the weekend to spend together. Of course. I will cancel a date with Bill Gates just to be with you, my love. <laughs> That's so sweet. Be a good girl for me, okay? Mm, sure, I will. Take care. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Where are we? Come on. Trish, why are you acting like a baby? Steve, you can't continue to cheat on me and expect me to take it lightly with you. But I already told you this person is a sugar mommy who's really crazy about me all the way from Kaduna. I'm vying for a government contract and she can help me get it. Oh, the next thing I'm going to hear is, baby, I'm traveling to Kaduna, right? Why are you trying to spoil the fun we've been having to just today? Is it my fault? Steve, the truth is that I really love you. And I can't stand not be at the thought of another woman touching you. I've told you not to worry your pretty head about that, okay? From the top of my head to the very sole of my feet, everything belongs to only you. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Of course. I love you, you crazy pretty woman. <laughs> I miss you. You know what? I want to do something. Yeah? 
Go on somewhere special. Mm -hmm. Buy you something nice. Mm. And we'll come back. We'll continue for more wisdom. That's so sweet. You like that? Of course. So we'll get ready to <laughs> Who be that, Bessie? Who won't break my gates? Who be that? What? How long has this been going on in my house? I'm sorry, my madam. You don't tell madam they use money to scatter my brain. You can't forgive me. Sorry, forgive me, baby. Sorry, forgive me, baby. Um, I... <laughs> Hi, Steve. Give me a second, please. I owe her some money. Let me talk to her, okay? <laughs> Are you following me? Why would I follow a slimy bastard like you? Are you still in the bed or no? You just got in. You know, one of these days I'm going to get you to myself and I will skin you alive. You know, I can actually skin you alive right now if I want to, boy. So, is that um, a fella's rival you're having lunch with? So, I guess if I. Are... Right now, you're going to run to Ifama with stories about me. <laughs> Come on, I'm not so jobless. I won't do that. I knew it. I knew it a long time. I, I could smell it from her father that you're just a slimy bastard. I'm just so surprised that she, she, she had never noticed something that every descending woman should have seen noticed. She had never. But you know what? I won't go and roll my mouth and blab because I know she will not even believe me if I tell her about your escapade. So, I will just watch her and wait for her to catch you red-handed. And I know that time is very near. So how about you just buy what you came to buy in the first place and run away from here? Just get out of here because um, I can't even have lunch around you. Disgusting, mm -hmm. really. Fuck you. As that lady, you say you owe her? Oh yes, but everything is taken care of now. Everything is alright. What's her name? What is it to you? You know, she looks like someone I know from somewhere. Oh, come on, who do you know? You're new in town and you don't really know anyone. But anyways, her name is Nina, and um, that's it. You want something to drink, baby? No, that's not her name. Even in the dark, if I see this lady, I will still recognize her. What are you talking about? She lives with her mother. Well, you're right on one account. She lives with her mother, but her name is Nina. Listen, Steve. This lady used to live in just somewhere in Apata Street, not very far from my own house. Well, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I, I don't care about that. But if I see... Listen, she had a very serious problem in Jess, and I'm surprised to see her here today. Are you absolutely certain 
of what you're talking about. I am very sure. Or do you want me to call someone to confirm? Cancel the meeting with uh, Noba Corporation. But first, sit down. I want to discuss something with you. Yes, ma'am. Can I talk to you as a friend? Listen, I want you to be very free with me. I want you to tell me whatever you think about what I am going to tell you. No problem. I invited my friend Nina to join me and my fiancé Steve for lunch and it turned out to be the worst outing ever. Like, a very big mistake. Don't tell me he made passes at her. What kind of stupid talk is that? Listen, Steve would never disrespect me like that, okay? Do you want me to tell you the honest truth about your fiance, Steve? Yes, go ahead. Tell me whatever you want to say. I have known you for several years now. And I am privy to the much heartbreak you have suffered in the hands of men. I know because you have cried to me several times. Looking at Steve with his shifty eyes, one can be safe to say he's that kind of man that blinks at everything under skirts. You know, I could hate you for saying such thing about my fiancé. I'm sorry, ma. I just said my mind. And I would advise that you be careful with that kind of a man. I just made another mistake of discussing my fiance with you, and that is a mistake that will never happen again. Hmm? Please cancel the meeting. I'll be on my way. I believe. Her friend must have told her the hard truth about Steve. I know you won't believe if I told you he made a pass at me and every other female staff in this company. May God punish all women for destroying the hearts of men. May God punish. May God punish all of them. <laughs> Who is that man? Well, he's one of our newest customers. The story says that he got the woman he wants to marry with another man in the bed. <laughs> really? I like to hear that kind of story. Listen, Steve, you mean you brought me here to tell me all these things about my friend? Not just anybody. My best friend, and you expect me to just believe you? Do you think I'm going to make up stories about your friend for any reason? Oh, come on, Steve. Say something else. So, do you think because she doesn't like me, and I don't like her, I'm going to make up stories about her for any reason? You know what? Her... I can't listen to this. Please take me home. I don't blame you. Let me get my keys. Linda, why did you bring me back here? This place holds a lot of... Bad memories from me. But a Frank, don't you think it's better you face whatsoever the problem is than wallowing in self-pity? You know, I was facing my problems well enough at the bar before you showed up and spoiled everything for me. You miss me, but a Frank. My goodness! You mean you want to kill yourself over a woman? Juliet was not just any woman, Linda. Juliet was the woman that I was in love with. The one to whom I gave my heart. The one that I dated for close to eight years. God, I dated that harlot for close to eight years and I thought that I was with an angel. Eight wasted years! That is not enough reason for you to waste your life away. You have to think about your life. You have to think about your business. You have to think about me, your kid sister. You have plenty to live for. Yeah, 
Maybe I will think about all that in another life. Don't talk like that, Brother Frank. Juliet is a stupid woman. She does not deserve a good man like you. I know God will give you that woman that will make you happy. What did he just say, Helen? I said I know you will find another woman that will make you happy and the both of you will... Yeah, you're right. God will give me another woman that will make me happy in another life when I am dead and gone to heaven. But as for looking for a wife among these demons, parading everywhere in short skirts, looking for whose heart to play basketball with, God forbid. Never! <laughs> Oh, hi, Yiffy. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. I'm here to see Nina Kitten. No, she's not. She left since morning and I've not heard from her. Wow, so where could she be then? She hasn't been to her shop all day. Uh, well, she went to see that her stupid father. And I'm sure she's going to cool off after that. Mama, please don't talk about Nina's father like that. I know he hurt you, but... Oh, that's okay, darling. Nina told me all that you said when you first met. Um, Mama, do you know you have transferred your hatred for men to Nina? She now hates men with passion. Really? That means I've achieved something. Because uh, that means she will have a long life and... Um, she, she doesn't have to get broken-hearted. Um, Mama, honestly, I'm shocked to hear you talk like that. I mean, what about... What about her future? What about marriage? What about children, family? Don't you want your only daughter to experience and enjoy all of that? Nina doesn't have to get married. She can have children, of course, but she doesn't have to be entangled with one particular man because she wants to have kids. Uh, uh, Mama, don't you think that is a wrong idea to pass on to your daughter? Oh, Ifoma, please, spare me the sermon, okay? I fell in love once and I know what I went through. My heart was broken, I, I, I was treated like filth. Heartache, embarrassment, disgrace, I was dumped. Don't like a dirty rag. Nina, my daughter, will not fall in love. And uh, if I may advise you, prepare to keep your heart where it belongs. Don't give it to any man. They're all out there waiting to, to devour it and leave you brokenhearted. Look, I don't want to talk about this. I, I was actually on my way out. I've heard you, ma. I'll also be on my way. Please, when Nina comes back, let her know I was here. I will. After you. Nina, you're back. Mommy, going out? Yes, I am. Huh? Your friend is here. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Hey, what's up now? I'm fine. I'm okay. What happened? You, you didn't go to your shop today? No, I asked her friend to do something. Other Let's go to my room now. While I change, we'll talk. Huh? Um, no, I'll rather we talk here. You sound serious. What's the problem? S See, Nina, I just want you to know that I'm not happy with the way you went as Steve the other day. Nina is my boyfriend we're talking about here. And if you have just a little respect for me, you wouldn't have behaved the way you did. You're right. I shouldn't have behaved the way I acted that day. I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. I want to ask you a question, and I expect an honest answer. Okay, ask. Why do you hate Steve so much? Babe, I just apologized. Can we not talk about this again? Please. I just said sorry now. Okay. Fine, let's 
forget it. Let's not talk about it again. I'm also tired, so I'll go home and rest. Oh, no problem. I'll see you. Okay. Ify, is there something on your mind you want to talk about? <laughs> I just want to know who you really are. Well, what's the meaning of this? Are you okay? I'm not in the mood for this joke. I am really tired. Babe, if you have anything in mind to talk about, say it already. Well, what's all this now? Do you know how it felt walking into my own house and seeing my fiancé making out with another man happily under my own roof. You know, I think you should do some kind of thanksgiving. You know why? Because God really helped you. Come on. What the hell are you talking about, Tony? You know, he made you discover the harlot in Juliet. I mean, think about it this way. What if you both were married and then you catch her in the arms of another man? I mean, wouldn't that be worse? Yeah, I, I guess you're right there. And I also have to thank God for making me see that women are deceptive and useless. No, oh, come on, man. Not all women, just a few stupid ones like Juliet, your Juliet. Tell that to the birds, man. All the women that I have ever dated have always ended up making my life miserable. All of them. I mean, who would have thought that innocent and simple looking Juliet would have the guts to be bringing men into my house every time I step out? And you tell me to trust another woman? No way, man. I hate them all. Uh, come on, man. Stop talking like that. There are... Tony, 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 Tony. Enough of the talk. See, me, I will wait patiently until I die and go to heaven where I will find myself a good woman to marry. And I will advise you to start watching that you'll be very careful you, so that you will not see what I saw. Come on, man, I'm in charge, okay? Okay, now. No go, Shaggy Bear. Oh, yeah, about that. Uh, you see, I really have to get to the house and drop something for my younger ones, but uh, you can run along, I'll meet you there. I'm sorry I made you remember the past. So you're not angry? Angry? What for? <sighs> well, I, I feel relieved. At least I have one person I can call a true friend who can listen to my story and still love me for who I am. <laughs> Thank you. Yes? What? Where? Where? Okay, okay, I'll be on my way. Thanks. What is it? It's Ifoma. Ifoma, what about Ifoma? She was rushed to the hospital. Hospital? What, what happened? Mommy, I don't know. I need to find out. Let me get my video. Please, um, here to see Miss Ifoma Wachiku. I was told she was brought here. Yes, you can go into the doctor's office and we'll talk to you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good day. Oh, the Good day. doctor. Good day, doctor. Good day. Please, I need to see Miss Ifoma Wachiku. Ifoma, and who are you? My name is Nina. Nina. Please. You have to be gentle, okay? The only reason I'm going to allow you to go into that ward is because she specifically asked that you be sent for. Oh, I promise I won't disturb. Trust me. Oh my God. Huh? Hey. What's happened to you now? So sorry, 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 sorry. Careful, careful. What happened? I feel so, so empty and stupid. God forbid. God forbid. Come on now, stop crying. Look, I don't need you to cry so that the doctor don't come and send me out of this place. Look at you, babe. What happened? You look so weak and frail. Why didn't I listen to you? I should have listened to you, you, you and everybody that warned me about that. That's, that. That snake called Steve. 
been listening to you. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. I do need you to cry, you hear me? Please, I need you to be strong, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you hate Steve. You hate him so much and I just didn't know what to make out of the whole thing and I needed to talk to someone. I called your lines and they were not connecting. So I I decided to go and see him. Okay. You know, I'm getting there. I saw Steve. I saw him making love to another woman. <laughs> oh no, just stop, stop. The moment he saw me, he got angry and started beating me up. He, he threw me out of the house. I knew it. I knew that your Steve is just a devil. I, I knew it. Huh? What kind of a man is that? Huh? Come on, come on. Uh, all know, right. He slammed the door to my face. He even denied me before that, that girl. Hey. No. Oh, oh. Stop. Sorry, darling. Just stop. Stop, okay? Stop. Barman, hurry up and bring it now. Mm, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Mama! My usual, please. Woo! Get me another one. <laughs> Hurry up. That is the bitch of the other day. Hey! So you are here again today, huh? Hey, mister. Just mind your business. I'm, I'm not in the mood for stupid talks. Just mind your business and have your drink. <laughs> you insulted me the other day and I let you go free. Today will not be the same. You can bet on that. Look, um, I just came here to drink and while away time because i'm coming from the hospital where my friend is bedridden because of one stupid man she calls her fiance she caught in bed with another woman <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! listen lady why don't you give me the number of this guy who has succeeded in giving your friend a good medicine i i think i need to learn some lessons from him on how to play with a woman's heart hey don't Push me to do what I'm trying so hard not to do. Oh, shut up. So a man has finally succeeded in battering your friend's heart, huh? <laughs> that serves her right. The same goes for all the women in this world. You inclusive. Esther! Jesus! This is like <laughs> How can you tell me to calm down? How can I calm down when that man almost killed my only child, my only daughter? As we speak, she's lying in the hospital. Just calm down. We have detained the man that hit your daughter since yesterday. I, I, I really need to see him. I need to see him so he will tell me why he almost killed her. I'm I, 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 What kind of rubbish is this? Is yes, yes. You want me to be my daughter? You want me to be in my office? I hope you are you realize where you are. Sit down. You must learn to behave yourself. I'm sorry. See, next time, if you if you, if you continue with this behavior, I will ask them to 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 lock you up. But I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Frank. You said the lady you hit to consciousness. 
was the first person that hit you? Yes, sir. She slapped me first after she had finished raining abuses on me. Ah! 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 No, oh, Mr. Trapper. How can you go up as far as doing that? Well, you know it's wrong for you to hit a woman. Oh. I am terribly sorry about the incident, sir. It, it wasn't intentional. But she got me riled with all the insults that she was hurling at me, and then again the slap. Um, your friend that came for your bill, he's he still around? Yes, sir, he is. Bill? Okay, Mr. Frank. I will grant you bill. Only on one condition. That you be ready to pay off all the hospital bills. And uh, you take care of this Nina. Okay, until she's well. Yes, sir. I'll do just that, sir. And um, again, you have to report here at least once every week. Hmm? Until the doctor satisfies her, okay? Then we can close the case. Yes, sir. It, 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 it's just that. Hello, Nina. How are you there? Uh, I'm fine. Fine, thank you, doctor. Hello, Nina. Uh, what? What? What are you doing here? Take it easy, please. You know you had a knock on the side of your head? And it hasn't healed properly. Um, I'll leave you two now to talk like two responsible adults. Okay? I came to tell you that I am... That you are sorry. That you are sorry for what I did. What if he had killed me? What would you have said? If I remember correctly, you slapped me first and then gloated over it. And so what? So I gave you a taste of your own medicine. Get out. I don't want to see you. Just get out. The feeling is mutual, sweetheart. See, the only reason I am here is because the police insisted I pay your medical bills and take care of you until you get well. God forbid! I, I will not even allow a dime from you being spent on pay. Do you understand? No problem, my dear. I just made some deposit with the hospital towards the settlement of your medical bills. I would really appreciate it if you would tell the police to refund it to me because I never plan to spend one couple out of my pocket on a mad idiot like you. Get out. Have yourself a, a miserable day. Get. Men, they're not worth a penny. Mama, I trusted that animal. I gave him my whole heart completely. That's why I cautioned my daughter Nina. Not to give a heart to any man. They are not worth the bother. <sighs> well, um, I'm glad it happened now. So, how is Nina? How is she doing? She's doing quite well. I just came back from the hospital where I left her sleeping. Okay. I... I think I'll go and see her later in the day. Are you sure you're up to it? All this going back and forth and... By the way, I noticed the sky is no more there. What happened? Mama, <laughs> it's still there. Yeah, not completely gone, but... You know, we have a way of patching these stuff off with makeup. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'll try and see her this evening. Okay. I am actually going to prepare something for her and then take it back to the hospital. Okay, we might meet there again. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, but let me tell you something. In spite of the mark, 
Let it take away your beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, please. Oh, <laughs> Shit. Shit. How could I have let Ifoma slip off my fingers like that? Stupid, stupid, stupid. You're supposed to be a smooth operator. You were supposed to be my meal ticket. It must be that stupid Nina that told her something. If not, if I would never have come to my place without calling first. Nina, you have stepped on the tail of a very wounded lion. And when I bite, I crunch. Oh, Nina, I'm going to crunch on your bones. I will crush you. Nina, I will crunch on your bones. Nina, I will crush you. I trusted that cheat. I trusted Steve so much. I didn't know he was using me till I caught him pants down with another woman in his house. Mm -hmm. You now see why I avoid men like a plague. I'm just trying to protect the remaining fragments of my heart that is left. Guard it and protect it since the rest had been broken and destroyed. <laughs> Nina, are you sure you still have any heart left? Because the last time you said you are not heartless. Oh, go oh, come on. I have a bit. No, the, the, the remaining one left is what I am trying to guard and protect jealously so that it doesn't get broken again. I cannot come and kill myself. So this is what this world has turned to. A world where real and true love is completely non-existent. It's a very harsh world. But as women, we have to learn to live in it. And learn how to live with it. There is something I've been meaning to ask you. You know, I had wanted to ask you this ever since I caught Steve with that girl. And what would that be? Did you by any chance know that Steve was cheating on me? Why would you ask? Because everybody around me hated Steve, especially the women close to me. But your own hatred for him was special. You disliked him with passion. Steve is a womanizer, and it's very glaring. Everybody knows. It's, it's, it's showing that anyone can even view from afar, if you're sharp enough to see it. I was just wondering and surprised that you could not see it. Babe, maybe, maybe you were just carried away, maybe you were just in love. You could not see what every other woman could have seen. So I, I didn't want to bother you. I just had to let you be that shit and I even caught him with another woman what and why didn't you tell me tell you <laughs> really I should have told you would you have believed me? Look, look into my eyes, tell me. If I had told you that your man was... Would you have believed me? I, I, I didn't want to say it. What would I have done? I had to keep quiet now. And wait for the right time for you to notice and catch him red-handed. So I just had to let it be. So you can catch him red-handed. What would I have done? Tell you. And I did. And I almost got killed. But one thing is... For sure, no man will ever treat me again. Love is dead and gone to the grave forever and ever. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hey, hello. 
ladies. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hi. Um, Ife. That's the devil that wanted to get your friend killed. I have told you I am sorry about what happened. When are you going to let it slide? When you decide to fight with a man in the boxing room, not a woman. I made a mistake, woman. Next time I will go for your mouth and punch it shut forever. Stop. Stop. You, you, you see? You, you, you see him? You see, you see what I'm saying? He's even threatening me again. You, see what he's uh, you know what, Nina? Just shut up. Shut up. You talk too much. Excuse me, please. I have to see the doctor. Yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you, sorry for, for what? Shut up. <laughs> Joseph, have you forgotten that we are supposed to be at the police station? Oh, gosh. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> well, I remembered because I signed the bill papers. Now, rise up and let's go. Anyway, I'm glad that they're discharging that loud mouth of girl today. At least that will save me some money and stress. That hospital is too expensive. <laughs> yeah, just wear your dress, man. Let's go. Man, the increase does not even appreciate how much I'm spending there, so she thinks it's easy. How are your baby there now? I don't want to talk about that. Let me quickly grab a drink. So we that's where we're going. So we're last time. Nina, you're so funny. <laughs> don't mind her. You know, with her sharp tongue, one would never believe that this lady here can even make dead bodies rise with her joke. Okay, now who is the funny one? She's the funny one. And she says I'm funny. But she's the funny one. Oh no, Nina, you have a way of cracking me up all the time, honestly. <laughs> mm. Hello, ladies. Hi, doctor. Hey, Nina, you look happy today. <laughs> anyway, um, you're well now and um, you're free to go home. Oh. I hope you're ready to go home. Ready? I am super ready. Oh, uh, good. I would ask my nurse to make your drugs available, okay? Okay. I hope you take them. I will, of course. All right, then. I'll let you ladies be now. All right, doctor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, my God. I'm so happy that you did this charge today. Oh, yeah. I don't like hospitals. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I hope this one you're saying would not stop you from coming to visit me. Because your brother put me here. You know, you have to take it easy on my brother, okay? Take it easy? Yeah, he has been through a whole lot lately. And so what? I'm sure he's whining over a bottle of beer or probably crying because of a lady that broke his head. Ooh, what am I supposed to do? Kill myself? Oh. My brother caught his fiancé in bed three weeks to their wedding. Oh. And you pity him because of that? Men have never dealt with you before. If so, you will be singing a different tune by now. Trust me. Hmm. Oh, wait. I've just been discharged, right? Where's the brother? He's at work. Is he not supposed to be here? Girl, he put me here. He should be here and watch me leave the hospital. So why is he not here? He's at work. You know what? What? Yeah. Leave the poor guy alone. I'll take you home. No way. If that dude is not here, I am not going anywhere. And you know how it is? He's going to keep paying the bills. He paid it. He'll pay again. Okay, fine. Let me call him. I'm very happy with the kind of reports I've been getting on this uh, matter. Mr. Frank, I have no doubt about you that you're a very responsible man. Thank you, sir. I actually kind of got carried away when I hate her. It will never happen again. You must learn to keep your emotions in check, especially women. I'll be doing just that from now on, sir. Excuse me, please. Hello? Brother Frank, I'm calling from the hospital. Yes. Uh, is there any problem? They just discharge her now. Yeah, today, right now. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I already settled all her hospital bills. But she's saying that you have to come and drive her home. Why? You can take a taxi home. I gave you enough money. I know, but she insists. 
She said, if you don't come, she will stay here and be piling up bills for you. Yes. Oh, uh, I'll be there. He's coming. Mother. Mila is uh, getting discharged from the hospital. I have to go pick her up. Okay, no problem. That's 15 minutes. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Brother Frank, food is ready. Should I dish it on? Brother Frank, what is the matter? You've been so angry and quiet all day. Linda, I am surprised to hear you call me your brother. You totally forgot about me when you were busy hobnobbing with the enemy. I don't understand what you're talking about. I am talking about Nina. How could you be friends with someone who, who is committed to making me unhappy? How? Brother Frank, I think we have to forget about the past. Lina is now my friend and I, I, I think we should just... Oh. Friend. I see. Okay, no problem. Go ahead and be friends with her. You want to be friends with my enemies, right? With people who are constantly making me unhappy. No problem. Okay, no problem. Pack! I'm moving to Nina's house, okay? Look, I'm just be saying, friends no, with that's friends not friends what I said. No, 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 Hey. hey man, what's up? Hey, you look like you want to murder someone. Yeah, it's that girl called Nina. I, I just want to wring her neck. Nina? What has she done this time? Can you imagine? I, I called the silly girl to fix an appointment for us to meet at the bar later this evening so that we can go to the police station and wrap up the matter once and for all. And she was so rude about it, telling me to meet her there by 7 p.m. before she hung up on me. Hmm, 7 p.m.? So, what's wrong with 7 p.m.? I am going to be in a meeting on the island up until 6.30. How do I get to the bar by 7 p.m. without flying? Guy, I don't know why you like to stress yourself. I mean, it's as simple as just putting a call through to her. And Never. I won't do that. If she wants the meeting to hold by 7 p.m., then 7 p.m. it will be. Okay, fine. Suit yourself. But I hope you haven't forgotten that we have a, a meeting with the MD of New Seal Limited. No. Why? Well, his secretary just called me and said that we're on the way to the office, so I think we should. Okay, but let's rush down to the office and go over the details of his proposals once again. Sure, and snap out of this mood, okay? Hey, Ivana, how are you? What are you doing here? Can I come in, please? You know, you really do have some guts. Steve, I should be calling the cops on you right now. If you, baby, the truth is, whatever happened can be explained. It, 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 was, not, it was a mistake. The girl you saw me with, that was a big mistake. There's only one person I love here, and that person is you. Mm. <laughs> You know, I would love to meet the person that wrote those lines for you because I know you are too daft to think up those words. And come to think of it, which heart are you coming to love again? The one that really cared for you and you ended up smashing to the ground? Steve, you know what? Just get out. Just please leave my house. Hey, if he's here. Steve, leave, please. I call your call, so what's the matter? What do you want? Please, I just need your help. I need your understanding. I need your cooperation. Please. What is it about? I need some more time to raise the money. You know this is not possible. You know it. Look, I'd already made plans, concluded plans to get the money. And then unfortunately, my girlfriend that I was going to get the money from, she, 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 she called off the, the relationship because something went wrong. And, and that's how everything went wrong. So I need to make sure that I find some other means of raising the money then, now. You amaze me, Steve. 
you mean you have a business of this magnitude and all your source of raising income is your so-called girlfriend, isn't it? Look, you don't understand. She's not an ordinary girl. She's really extremely rich. She's one of the managers of late father's business and it's a big business that runs into millions. She's worth millions, even in dollars. I don't understand how any of this your stories is my business. I had already made plans. I had concluded plans to dupe her of 14 million naira. Not a lot of people have that kind of money lying around. Steve, you know what? You knew about our organizations before you joined us to invest. I bet you, if you mess up now, you're going to lose every damn thing. You've invested so far. Get me right? What would you like to drink? I don't want to drink. Besides, if I need a drink, I'll pay for my drink. Suit yourself. Why are we here? I was thinking you and I should visit the police station one more time to close our case file. Why? You're very much okay now. There is no reason why the case file should remain open any longer. <laughs> I'm really surprised at you, Frank. You heard what the doctor said, that I should keep coming to the hospital until I am perfectly fit. The fact that I've been discharged does not mean that I am fully fine. Gosh, why are you such a pain in the neck, Nina? What, what do you hope to gain by giving me this headache? Look, look, look. If you're going to keep talking like this, let me go so that I won't receive another punch from you. It was just a punch, Just you know? a punch? You hit me on my head. You almost broke my... In fact, you broke my head. And you're saying it's just a punch. Look, I think this, this business is even over. Let me even go. Let me go. But meanwhile, you have to drop me off because I came in a taxi. And for now, the case remains open until I say otherwise. Please take me here. Waiting outside. Sir, that girl is okay. There is nothing wrong with her. She just wants to disturb me. That is all. I understand how you feel, Mr. Father. But I have to hold on to the doctor's report. That's to believe that the young girl will have to be observed sometimes. Okay. Fine and good. <laughs> Do I have to be the one to watch over her like a hand over its cheeks? But that was the agreement you had before your deal. See? You placed the girl that in danger when you stopped her. <sighs> Gosh. Okay. Okay, Inspector. But for how long do I have to watch over her? As long as it takes until the doctor starts to her, okay? Just take it easy. This whole thing is driving me crazy. I have things to do that I can't. As I told you, whatever the doctor says is fine now. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, see, I, I am not sure how long I can continue to be calm over this, but I know for sure that if this continues this proceeding, I am going to snap. Hey, hey. Listen, you've managed yourself perfectly well, okay? I'm sure you can sail through this. You see how funny life is? I just exchanged a flirt called Julia for a loud mouth called Nina. I just wish there was a way we could gather all the women in the world in one place and keep them locked there forever. The best will touch them all up. Hey, hey, maybe you're forgetting something here. Juliet was a woman, but Nina isn't. And I don't even think she's considering, you know, accepting such a proposal anytime soon, you know. What do you mean anytime soon? Um, what, I'm, what I mean is, you know you've been my friend, right? I mean, apart from that, we've been business partners for so long now, and I know you, man, you've never talked about, you know, about a woman with so much passion. Okay, so what are you cooking up in that head of yours now, Mr. Passion? What I'm saying is beneath that anger that you're exhibiting towards Nina, I see something soft, I see love. I think you're actually feeling something for this girl. And if you ask me, man, I don't see anything wrong with her. She's just like probably one of the hardest chicks that I have, you know, really seen. Out. I have to finish my sentence. Yeah, this building to me. Take it easy, man. I was just advising you like friends. Come on. You like him, don't you? 
I know, man. I know. Babe, what's up? This way you're so excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have the best news for the year for me. Mm, good, 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 good news. Uh -uh. Guess what's what? Up? what? I found him. Yes, him, him. I found him. Seriously. You You fell in love with another man? Nina, not just another man. This time is true love. My Mr. Right. Hold on, how can you allow yourself fall in love with a man again after the, the, the whole drama they have put you through? After the whole... Come on now. Nina, this is true love, okay? Trust your friend. I did everything I could to stop this years back, but... Hello, and behold, we met again. And this time, he promised never to let go. Believe me, this is true love. This is my Mr. Right. No more heartbreaks. All right, so mm -hmm. I'll just allow you. Be to... happy for your friend. I okay. Am just... So, what about you? What has been happening to you? <laughs> Me, my dear, I've just been there, just having the fun of my life. You remember that guy, the one at the hospital, Frank? Yes. Oh, what about him? Nothing much. You remember he promised the policeman that he was going to take good care of me and ensure that I am fit and fine. So your dear friend here has been using the opportunity to have the fun of a life. You know, it's so sweet to have a man that you can just call and then he's at your back and call. Anytime you need him, mm, nigger is there. I'm having fun, girl. <laughs> the whole thing is just crazy. I can't even believe that. My friend, my friend. Nina, you are in love. Nina, trust me, you are in love. You just don't know it yet, but you're in love. With who? Frank? I can see it. Oh, look please. Look at you. <laughs> Nina, look at you. When I you am talk just... about him, look at... No, I'm just having fun. Oh, fine. You just don't want to know yet, no, but I'm... I'm here. I'm watching. Hey, hey. I right, sit down, Jare. I'm... Bring something. I'm, I'm, I'm so not... in a good mood right <laughs> no, now. No, no, so okay. Bring what you have. I did. I did. Hmm. <laughs> This food is really nice, one. Very nice. Frank? Why are you wearing a long face? You really want to know? Mm-hmm. I would have enjoyed this outing better if I had been the one to ask you out, rather than you ordering me around the way you did. Oh, really? Yes. <clears throat> I enjoyed our time out tonight, thanks. Glad you did. <laughs> I do know you're such an interesting and exciting company. I know, I know that I've been beastly towards you, but I, I just haven't had a great time with women in all my life, so it's not my fault, you know. It's okay, I understand. I know about your story. I know you caught your fiancé in bed with another man three weeks to your wedding, so I understand. Yeah, Linda must have told you. No, the barman did. Remember the first day you met me at the bar? <laughs> I'm so sorry I hit you. I, uh, <clears throat> it wasn't intentional. I'd never hit a woman in my whole life before then. It's okay, although the punch was strong, but it's fine. <laughs> it's not your fault. I should also apologize for pushing you to the extreme. If I hadn't, you wouldn't have hit me. So I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, about our case filed, don't you think we should close it now that we are friends? No. We are not closing that case until the doctor says so. Thanks for your time, Mr. Frank. Have a nice night. Bye. Yeah. 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 
Damn. Damn. Who the hell does she think she is? I, I, I tried to put up a happy face, but, but the, the demon just, just will not let me go. She, she, she won't let me go. Hey, Are you okay? Why are you sitting like this? You went on a date with that man. Yes, but there's nothing to it. Look, Mom, I'm just enjoying myself and having fun while making life difficult for him. I see a different picture. You are my daughter, and I know you too well. Mom, I'm no longer finding your insinuations funny. I'm not. I will not let you fall in love with any man, no matter who. Mom, I'm tired. I've had a long day. Brother Frank, what is the matter? What? The smiles. You've been smiling all day. Who are they for? Yeah, I was just remembering <laughs> some naughty pranks that Nina played on me yesterday. Nina? Yes. That girl can be funny, you know. <laughs> now, wow. What's the meaning of now, wow? Nothing, no. You, I know you. Whatever it is you're thinking in that, in that naughty mind of yours, so yeah, spit it out now. Well, I'm only surprised that you're saying nice things about her. I thought you hated her. Let, let's not use the word hate. It's too strong a word. Let's just say I dislike her. So what's bringing the sudden likeness for her? Uh, I guess I've just realized that um, she's a warm, nice person that I, I can look forward to seeing at the end of a long, hard day at work and still... Excuse me, young lady, what are you insinuating here? Do you want the truth? I beg, say what you want to say. I think you're beginning to like Nina a whole lot. Shut up. Sometimes I think you just talk too much. I have to run along now before I, I go late. So. Where to? I thought you said you're not going to the office. But I, I forgot to tell you that I'll be taking Nina to the hospital today for a checkup. Huh. I just realized it's all about Nina since you accidentally hit her. See what? Brother Frank, you like her. You like her so much. I know. Look, Nina, I'm coming with you to that hospital. All right, fine, you can come. What are you coming with No, I mean right away. And I'm sorry, that's not possible. Because Frank will pick me. You see it? I said it! I said it! Frank will pick you. You're falling in love with that man. The next thing is heartbreak. And that's the result of any woman who finds herself in the snare of a man. Mom, what are you talking about? Frank is just a friend. The enemy has suddenly become a friend. Stop me now before you break your heart! Mom, what is it now? That Frank is my friend doesn't mean I'll fall in love with him. Is it the first man I, I, I've had as a friend? Besides, why are you worried about me? Am I a child? I can take care of myself. Sorry for treating you as a child. But please, Nina. Nina, please stop. Before it's too late. I have to go. He's here to pick me. Nina? Nina? <laughs> Mm. 
You kept me waiting again, you know. What is the problem? Nothing. Let's just go, please. You and I both know that is not true. Not, not with the but frown on your face. Is it like your head is too thick to understand simple English? Sorry, wait. Did you just call me thick head? That is what you are. You think you're even dumb and deaf. You just... You know what? After yesterday and the fun that we had, I promised myself I was going to be a gentleman to you. But that is about to change, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Who, who is your baby? Okay, well, better still, maybe I should call you an idiot. Moron, stupid. <laughs> Moron. Today is the last day you'll ever suffer the matter. What is it? This one. You, you call this in a car. Because I'm following you, I'm calling you in a car. Please, Please Zander. Why are you? Hey, hey, just wait, let me. Are you on a dream or not? Any type of entry, please let, let me leave there. I don't want to go. Oh, you still enter. You still enter. So, Nina, you are now medically fit. And there will be no reason for you to come back here on the account of the injury sustained from Frank's punch. Um, I invited you to here to inform you first before I send my report to the police and I'm hoping to do that by the end of tomorrow oh okay thank you you're welcome that'll be all for now I would like to say a very big thank you to you I mean <laughs> you are like the best doctor in this part thank you for for liberating uh, the, the poor soul you know what thank I mean thank you very much thank you doctor I'll be on my way now Yes, madam. How can I help you? Well, Inspector, I have come to close the case file between Mr. Ifan Yubi and my daughter. Why, madam? Well, um, we don't need him anymore, I guess. Okay, madam. Uh, but we we'll need doctor, the doctor's support to work on. But Inspector, my my daughter is feeling much better now. I mean, she's been out of hospital for over two weeks. She's even gone back to work. We didn't need the doctor's reports to do that. We have a procedure that we follow here. And that procedure helps us to, to work properly. Your daughter will need to be here before we do anything. I'm her mother. I am here and I'm saying what I feel is right. I advise you to go home, madam. Hmm? We will take our decisions only when the doctor submits his report. Good day, madam. Oh, look at you. You're so excited because the doctor gave you freedom. You can now do whatever you want to do. I wasn't aware that I was in prison before. Anyway, come take a ride with me. I'll drop you off. Ah, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm fine. I... I'll, I'll be fine, trust me. What if I say I just want to do it? What if I say uh, I would like to give you a ride to anywhere you want me to and give you a treat? Any place of your choice, would that be okay by you? Mention anything that you want and I'll make sure that you have it right away. Really? Yes, really. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. But before I mention, I want to ask for a favor. Favor? Okay, sure. You're acting really tense around me. I would appreciate it if you just ease up a bit, you know, get free. It's going to just allow us to enjoy our company. Really? <laughs> okay. I, I can go really crazy. My problem is whether you can withstand it. You want to dare me? Because I can be crazier than you think. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so... um, How about this? <laughs> 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 you don't even yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, do it again. Just keep doing it. <laughs> do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not like that.
Nina, that's not the truth. What is the truth? Nina, 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 seriously, yeah? <laughs> yeah? You just need to leave everything else you're doing and go into stand-up comedy, for real. <laughs> yeah. You are just so funny, I swear. <laughs> okay, I've heard that, like, over and over and over again. Right? <laughs> you see? Believe me, Nina. Believe me. You will outshine all the comedians we have in this country and become rich beyond your wildest imagination. <laughs> I love what I do. I don't want to switch. I'm very fine, comfortable, and I love it. Yeah. But if you ever want to laugh, just remember to stop by the shop or call my phone. <laughs> but whenever you're coming, come with your money. Because you're definitely going to pay for the services rendered. Okay, so how about I pick you up tomorrow? Say after work. Ah, uh, I I don't think that's a good idea. Why? We need to stop this daily outing. It's not healthy for both of us. I I don't want to. You know what? Thank you for today. I had a nice time. I'll I'll talk to you. Okay. Okay, uh, I should be on my way then. You can come for laughter. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, come. I've searched high and low, and unfortunately, I haven't gotten someone to loan me this money. So, what did you call me to come in? Or oh, do I look like someone who got nothing doing? Please calm down, Django. Calm down. I have a proposition to make to you. Proposition? It had better be a good one. Let's hear you. Well, I, I was just thinking, Jango, uh, please, can you loan me the money for this business? Uh, that way you get to keep 50% of my earnings from, from the deal. Why are you talking like a small boy, Steve? This is the bigger club in this country. Where you push trucks and nobody stops you anywhere in the world. And for your information, thousands of people out there are ready to kill for this. I don't think you're ready for such. Django, please help me. Don't let me lose all of my life savings. Please help me. Steve, in the agreement we all signed, we agree that any party in T4 forfeits everything he invested and for your information, if you fail to pay the 25 million in a week's time from today, be ready to lose the 30 million you've invested so far. Django, please, I beg you, please just, just help me any way you can, please. I can't help you, Steve. I have no money to help you now, and if I had, I will gladly use it to get your own share of the deal. This is business. Never forget that the people you're dealing with here are people who brook no rubbish. If you want to stay out, gentlemen, stay out and keep your damn mouth shut. I'm sorry if I startled you. What are you doing here? What do you want from me? Is this how a daughter should welcome a father? Just go! I don't want to ever see you again. Just go! That won't be a problem, my dear daughter. Then leave! Because I don't want to see you. Go, leave! Just go, 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 go! The devil standing here who will leave as soon as he is done with his little story. Look, just listen. I don't want to listen to your stupid and senseless stories. So leave! This is the hatred your mother has planted in your heart all these years. That's not what I wanted. I wanted you to grow to become a beautiful, happy and, and a loving woman. But she got it all messed up. It all started when you was six years old. Your mother could not take in after she had you. 
And my family members became so worried after waiting so long without hearing the cry of a baby. What is wrong with you? Please tell me. Tell me what is wrong with you and I will take care of it. They are right. You need a male son to carry the name of a family. What are you talking about? I had them. They want to get you another wife. I don't really blame them after all. I can't give you another child. It's me it affects most, not them. They don't have any right to tell me what to do. They are part of you. And you are a part of them. Oh, come on, Agatha. What matters most is I love you and will always love you. In all this trouble, I never stopped loving and caring for your mother until your mother met and befriended a lady called Nkechi. This Nkechi woman has a track record of misleading married women astray. So she became suddenly troublesome, recalcitrant, wild and uncontrollable. Now, one day I came back from work rather early and I saw a car parked in front of the house and I knew that was Nkechi's car. So I wanted to avoid her by all means. I decided to go through the back door, through the kitchen. But there she was in the kitchen with your mother, with your mother preparing something for her to eat. And they were having a discussion. Seriously, I don't give my husband that kind of a chance. Immediately I see him with any woman, be it single or married. I move into action. And after dealing with the person, the idiot eh, will not come close to my husband again. I don't follow my husband around. No, I mean, why? <laughs> really? You don't follow your husband around? Eh? Don't worry. You will see a woman with four or five children claiming to be your husband. Then you will follow him around. God forbid. Eh? Do you remember Tina? Tina, yes. Uh -huh. Don't I pray that what happened to Tina should happen to you. So you want to tell me in the midst of all this, your husband's people disturbance, he's not worried, Abby. <laughs> Don't worry. You better sit up oh, before another woman takes over your home. Oh. I beg. Go give me food, make I chop. If you stay there. Before, even though you know it. Can I see you? Yes. What is she doing here? Am I not entitled to a friend again? And if she comes knocking, shouldn't I open the door? Not when you bring in people who are capable of destroying our home. You're just talking to me as if I'm a kid. As if I'm a child. Don't I know the difference between good and bad anymore? What is wrong and what is right? I see you are learning very fast from her because I overheard all she said to you. Now I know the reason you deleted all the female contacts in my phone, including that of my secretary. And when I asked you, you not only denied it, you swore heaven and earth that you never touched my phone. You're just blabbing. Pow, 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 pow. Look, blabbing or not, I want that woman out of my house now. This house belongs to you and I. She goes nowhere. Excuse me.
Yeah. Good morning, ma. Stop over at your place. Oh, yes, I can. Ten minutes, ma. Yes, ten minutes. Yeah, I'll be over there. All right. Thank you, ma. I just switched it back on. What? My wife? Came to your place and fought you? I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, Anna, you can't do that. That, that has nothing to do with the contract I signed up. Madam, no, please, I beg you in the name of God. What? I was to build and equip an ultra-modern youth center that I designed. I lost the contract worth 28 million naira then. And do you know how much pain she caused me? Even at that, I was still magnanimous enough to forgive her. So, what happened? She never apologized, so I stopped eating her food for fear of being poisoned. Now, I decided to go eat in a restaurant, unknown to me that your mother was following me discreetly. So, when I came out of the restaurant and was about to enter my car, Sorry, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you forgot your phone. Oh, I did. Oh, thank you. Do you have a name? Yeah, of course I do. And what is it? Nkiru. Nkiru, that's a wonderful name. Um, you know what? Um, I would like to reciprocate this kind gesture if you give me your phone number. So what's your number? Zero is zero. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you've killed her. Nkiru. Again, just hang on, don't die. Hey! Yes, Tommy. Hello, Dr. Carlis. <laughs> what are you doing here? You. Oh, no, 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 Dr. Carlis. That is an error. This is not how to welcome people who have come to sympathize with you over what your wife has cost you. You got her into this in the first place, didn't you? No, another error. I did not. The problem with your wife is that she doesn't have a heart of her own and she cannot stand on her own. You see, I'm not as bad as people think. The issue with me is that I have a heart of my own and I can stand on my own. <laughs> Pardon my manners. Meet my friend Kiki. Hi, Dr. Collins. It's my pleasure meeting you. I'm so sorry for the mess your wife has gotten you into. So sorry. Um, Dr. Collins, I brought Kiki here hmm, to make you forget everything your wife has cost you and also to make you money again. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't worry, I've come to make you happy. Okay. And get out of here! Both what of has you. come over you, Dr. Collins? Now, out of my house, both of you. Really? Out before I lose my temper oh. and I apply force on you people. Kiki, let's go. Get the hell out of here! Good day, Dr. Collins. I want nonsense. Yes, come in. How may I help you? I'm here to see you. See me? What for? 
Well, looking at you, I know you're not a happy man. And you need a woman to make good food for you. Here I am with a flask of food. I brought it for you. No, I mean no harm. Anyway, thanks for being so caring. I can do anything for you, just to make you happy. You know what? Just take this flask of food and go back to your home or wherever you're bringing it from. And then secondly, take a good look at yourself and evaluate the kind of life you are living. Now, that is the door. Please walk out quietly. All right? Quietly, I say. Your mother took you, my happiness, and absconded, thinking the woman was dead. And she didn't come back until after two years. So I refused to take her back. I wanted you to come live with me, but she refused. That was when I filed for divorce. I only got married seven years ago. And for all the years that your mother couldn't take in, I stood by her until she had you. In her presence, you called me names. Yet, she never bothered to tell you the truth about us. I know you have grown to hate me so much, but I want you to know that I've always loved you and I will never stop loving you. What must have kept my lovely husband away from sleep in the comfort of a matrimonial bed? Honey, I noticed you have not been happy since you came in from the office today. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't notice you until you touched me. That is because no man in your state of mind will notice anything. Do you think it's worth sharing with me? I mean, whatever the problem is. Or should I leave you? Um, you know what? I've been thinking. I've been thinking about a situation that's threatening to get out of control. A situation? What situation is about getting out of control? Nina. <sighs> Can you imagine she came to my office today? Spoiling for a fight. And if not for the timely intervention of the security men. She would have really attacked me. I think I have to report this matter to the police. No. Why not? You would do no such thing. She is your daughter. A daughter? Oh, come on. A daughter that wishes a father nothing but death is not worthy of being called a daughter. Honey, have you ever sat down to think of something? Think of what? The truth. What truth? She must have been fed with so many negative things about you. And that impression needs to be corrected. Corrected, you say? Do you know who we're talking about here? We're talking about stubborn Nina. The Nina that sees you in town, confronts and fights you. The same Nina that came to my office, spoiling for a fight. How can you correct someone who has no listening ear? Look, I'm going to handle this my own way. But she is still your daughter. You cannot harm her. Yes. Look, I believe she loves you, okay? And I know you love her too. Look, love, I love her. I don't know about her. Yes, she does. She does. Come on. You need to catch up some sleep. All right. I've waited for this day and time to be with you. 
now that you know the truth, even if I die, I will die. A happy death. I want to know what happened between you and my father. We've talked about this a couple of times. I didn't demand to know the truth, Mom. And I want to know it now. I can see you don't want me to sit down and watch the TV. So I would leave. You lied to me. Mom, you lied to me about my dad. How dare you speak to me in that manner? Do you know what I suffered? Do you? To break your home with the help of your friend, Gigi. I am finished. I am finished. Calm down. What is the problem? I, 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 I killed one of my husband's girlfriends. I, as you advised me, me to. Me advise you. Hey, see, you are on your own. I don't know what you're talking about. See, you better start running before the police get you. I am telling you, you're on your own, though. Please, I don't know what. Ukechi, I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Ukechi. Can you imagine that? Ukechi. In case she waits, but you advise me, you remember? How could you do that? How, how could you allow another woman use you to destroy your home? How could you do that, Mom? Who told you about it, Kitty and I? I'm sure, I'm sure it's, it's your father, right? You made me hate him. You made me hate my father with a passion. Do you know how it feels? Do you know how it feels? Do you know how it feels to be in love and be rejected? I wish he was dead. Yes, I wish he was dead. I wish I'd never married him and I wish I never met him. I, I loved him. I, I, I loved him so much. I gave him everything. He disappointed me. Do you know how it feels when you're in love? And you find out that your man has several women. Oh, that case is different. You never gave him a listening ear. You, you never gave him time to explain to you. I wish I never listened to you in the first place. You know, I really don't understand what's going on. I mean, you have changed. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, don't pretend to me. Do you understand that? Don't pretend to me like you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, you better start telling me what the problem is, okay? So that I can find a solution to it. I'm tired of seeing you walk all over the place like a zombie. Tony, I am fine. It's Nina, right? What the hell are you talking about? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at the way your face lit up like a Christmas tree at the mere mention of her name. I noticed that you changed from the moment you guys stopped seeing each other. You know, after the case was closed from the police station. Why don't you just go after her, man? Tony, please, why don't you just leave me alone? You know why I can't leave you alone? Because I cannot sit back and watch you behave like a child. It is obvious that you love her. Tell me, please. Listen, don't even think of denying anything. Don't even think of denying it. I mean, the fact that you love this woman radiates all over you. Why don't you just put aside this whole hatred and, you know, misgivings for women just because they fed you the, wrong, the, the raw side of the deal? And, and go get this woman. Listen, true love comes 
only once. And that true love you found in Nina, just like I found mine too. Frank, you're, you're still thinking about this thing. L listen, man, you, you know I'm your friend, right? You know, I wouldn't lie to you. You know I have your back. Huh? If I am asked, I would say that that girl is the woman for you. That is the woman that you have been looking for. I wouldn't deceive you, man. Just go and get her. You go get her. She has the kind of fire that will complete you, man. You just go get this woman. I, I can't even believe you're thinking about this. God, I could even use a drink right now. Hello. How have you been? What have you done to my brother? What are you saying? How comes he talks about you in his sleep? Hardly eats. Does not even care about himself. I don't understand. I've not seen him in like a week. You can hide it for all you can. But it's all written all over you. You know what? I am doing perfectly well. If your brother is having problem, I think he's the best person you would speak with. Not me. Oh, really? What is wrong with the both of you? Why are you guys hiding what is so glaring to everyone? Now, what are you saying? You know what? If the both of you want to continue acting like kids, then so be it. 